Paige Omek of The New Republic has a really interesting write-up about Ron DeSantis having a sudden change of heart about the policy that he is most known for. I'm, of course, talking about book bans, and his new position is essentially that book bans are still good, of course, but maybe they shouldn't ban as many books in Florida as they did. Perhaps they got a little bit carried away. Oh, and none of this is his fault, by the way. All these book bans... He takes no responsibility. So basically, he held a press conference and subsequently put out this press release talking about book bans titled, quote, Governor Ron DeSantis debunks book ban hoax, calls on Florida legislature to amend law to prevent abuse from activists. Okay, interesting. So it goes on to read today, Governor Ron DeSantis continued to debunk the false narrative that the state of Florida bans books. I'm sorry, but this is just an objective fact. Florida does not ban books. Instead, the state has empowered parents to object to obscene material in the classroom. What do we call that when the parents who object end up getting the books removed exactly? Anyways, it continues. Still, some have abused this process to object to items including books about Johnny Appleseed, The Giver, and even the Bible. Hmm, That might be the real catalyst for this change of heart. Governor DeSantis is calling on the legislature to fine-tune this process to prevent people from taking advantage of Florida law that is designed solely to remove inappropriate material from the classroom. Now, the changes that he is proposing includes the DOA stopping bad actors in schools from politicizing books in some way. He doesn't necessarily specify how. He also suggests limiting who can challenge books to parents and uh, just parents with kids at schools. Now, in proposing changes to his own laws, he is inadvertently acknowledging that this policy has been a complete and utter failure. And I'm sorry, but if your law can be weaponized for political purposes by activists, that's your fault. You're the one who signed it into law, DeSantis. You are the one who chose to not just sign it into law, but promote it and defend it again and again and again. Now, as the New Republic points out, regardless if he wants to take responsibility or not, this is his doing. Quote, in reality, these ridiculous book bans are a direct cause of DeSantis signing House Bill 1069 into law in May of 2023. Other legislation in Florida, including the Parental Rights and Education Bill, this is the Don't Say Gay Law, and the Stop Woke Act have led to further restrictions. Under DeSantis, Florida allowed anyone to challenge books in school libraries that they deemed to be inappropriate, often books that feature characters or topics on race, sex, and gender. Sometimes books have been banned thanks to a single challenge. And speaking of bad actors, quote, DeSantis has been celebrated by Moms for Liberty, the parental rights group inciting many of these blanket bans. The group has thanked the governor for blazing a trail on school book bans. He even appointed a co-founder of Moms for Liberty to the Florida Commission on Ethics. Yeah, it's so funny that he is now complaining about bad actors that he himself emboldened. But DeSantis didn't have a sudden change of heart, nor is he frustrated with the activists who are supposedly taking advantage of these book ban laws. The law is working as intended, but the problem is that it's just not as popular as he wants it to be, and it resulted in national blowback. So, in other words, he's forced to cave, walk it back a little bit, right? Not back down completely from the position, still maintain that book bans are good and we should have some process that we implement to where parents who are fascists like him can challenge certain books if they are offensive when it comes to race and gender and sexuality. But ultimately he realizes this kind of got a little bit ridiculous and it did. I mean, you can't give him credit for this because it's like acknowledging that the sky is blue. It's something so obvious that anyone who denies it is denying reality. But here's the thing. This isn't the first time that a book ban law has blown up in a GOP lawmaker's face. So in Utah, one Republican legislator, he introduced a bill to ban books similar to the Don't Say Gay law. It got signed into law. And then once it was in effect, guess what happened? Well, parents started challenging books that they didn't want to be challenged, like the Bible. And that actually led to the Bible being banned. And then guess what happened? He called for the legislature to amend his own law after the Bible was banned, saying, no, 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 not that book. So you love when these GOP lawmakers get a taste of their own medicine because they immediately backtrack. You know, it's not like they're going to be principled and say, listen, sure, these parents make some good points about the Bible being a little bit offensive. It has references to bestiality and slavery and whatnot. So even though I don't necessarily agree, 
you know, I am going to give parents the right to challenge that book because I want parents who are Christian to be able to challenge books that they deem inappropriate as well. But they're not doing that. They're just saying, mm, we really just want to ban specific books. But they can't just say we want to ban books about sexual orientation and gender identity and race because that would be unconstitutional. That would be discrimination. So instead, they have to have these really broad policies that end up coming back to bite them in the ass. And whenever it happens, you love to see it. But back to Ron DeSantis, he's caving. And uh, good, whenever we see a fascist back down from a position, that is a win. It means that fascists aren't infallible, even though they want you to believe that they are all-knowing and all-powerful. No, sometimes things that they do, especially really stupid things, blows up in their face. And whenever that happens, we celebrate that. Woke mom. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke ideology. Woke test. Woke ideology. Woke Olympics. Woke ideology. 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 Wo